If you're looking for apple themed activities for your preschooler, then you came to the right place. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a ton of fun apple themed activities to share with you guys. Now, most of these are geared towards preschoolers, though some of them would be great for toddlers and kindergartners as well. And all of these are activities that we've done with our now kindergartner over the past few years before heading to our favorite local apple orchard and pumpkin patch. And we do plan to have most of these activities available again for our now preschooler, our second child. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Nicole and I'm a homeschooling mama to three kiddos and this year I have a kindergartner, a preschooler, and a baby. And we're a very eclectic homeschool style family and here on my channel I like to share tons of activity ideas just like you're going to see today as well as homeschool hauls, morning basket ideas, curriculum choices, and so much more homeschool related material. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I'd love if you'd stick around and hit that subscribe button below. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you guys are notified whenever I post a new video. And before we get into the activities, if you guys enjoy videos like this, be sure to hit that thumbs up button below. All right, you guys, enjoy. The first thing I have to share with you are these attribute apples from learning resources. These come in different colors, sizes, as well as some have worms and others do not. And there's so many different ways you can use these with preschoolers. You can use them for counting, as well as other early math skills like sorting and pattern work. You can have your preschooler sort these by size, like I'm showing here. And you can also have them sort them by color as well as worm for snow worm. After your child has got done sorting, go ahead and have them practice counting. You could ask your child how many green apples are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight green apples. Again, this resource is excellent for pattern work, so you could have a few different patterns set out for your preschooler to complete, or you could even have your preschooler come up with their own patterns. I like to verbally go over the patterns with my preschooler that I have laid out and then ask her what comes next and have her complete the pattern that way. These attribute apples also make the perfect addition to an apple themed fall sensory bin. So for our sensory bin here, for the filler, I've added old fashioned oats, and then I also added in some cinnamon sticks for an extra sense of smell. And then I gave the kids some wooden scoops to work on those fine motor skills and to scoop the oats and apples with. And then along with that, I also have some wooden bowls for the kids to transfer into. So I have an apple shaped one as well as a square shaped one. And the kids will just have so much fun playing with this, you guys. Moving on, we have some activities that work on letter recognition as well as pre-writing. So these printables here are actually freebies, so I'll link them below in the description box for you guys. And these are working on the capital letter A. Now there's several different ways you can use this first sheet. What we did was we had Unifix cubes to build the letter A. And I gave the kids red, yellow, and green for the different colors of apples. And I just, again, had them build the letter A The second printable I actually went ahead and laminated and then I gave the kids a dry erase marker to have them trace the letter A. And this does wipe off super easily when you laminate it guys. This way your child will be able to practice tracing their A over and over again. We did go ahead and switch it up a bit for lowercase a. Now I found these cute 
puffy apple stickers at Michael's Arts and Craft Store. So my daughter went ahead and she built her letter A with them. And after she did that, she would take her finger and trace along the puffy stickers. And this really made for a tactile experience. And this really helped her remember how to form the lowercase a. I also provided our sand tray so my daughter could practice writing her A's in it. And the sand tray is almost always a hit in our house. So I highly recommend a sand tray or salt tray for preschoolers and even kindergartners. Up next, we have some homemade apple pie Play-Doh and this stuff smells oh so amazing, you guys. We used the recipe from Natural Beach Living, so I'll be sure to link it below for you guys. I also gave the kids some wooden rolling pins as well as some fall themed cookie cutters. So we have an apple, a pumpkin, a squirrel, some leaves, and an acorn. And the kids just had a lot of fun using these. And then you can also gather some sticks from outside and your kids can make just nice large apples using this play-doh and it's just so much fun and great sensory activity. This next activity goes over the different parts of an apple. I made this with felt using a free template which I will be sure to link below for you guys. And this would be the perfect activity to pair with an apple dissection if you guys are planning to do that with your children. But yeah, this is just a very fun, hands-on way to go over the core, the seeds, the flesh, the stem, and so on. Practical life is also really big in our homeschool. So for this unit, I went ahead and purchased this wooden knife for children off of Etsy for my daughter to use. And this knife is so nice because it's sharp enough to cut fruits and vegetables, but yet your child cannot cut themselves with it. Now, for this unit, I had my daughter help me cut up some apples and we made an apple pie. But you could also, of course, make apple crisp or applesauce. Any way that your child can help in the kitchen is such a great practical skill to learn. Preschool is also a really great time to introduce and work on those scissor skills. This particular activity came from our cutting activities workbook, but I will link a few free printables that are similar for you guys below. So my daughter went ahead and cut out the four different parts of the apple tree here, and then she pasted them together like a puzzle on a separate sheet of paper. And then she went ahead and colored her apple tree, and then at the top she wrote the word apple. Now, even though we are holding off on formal artist and music study until our children are a little older, we do like to go ahead and expose them to quality and classic music and art during these early years. And how we like to do this is just to display some artwork throughout the house. And pictured here, we have Paul Cezanne's famous painting, Fruit and Jug on a Table. And I like to get my artwork printed off at freeart.com and I'll be sure to link that below in the description box for you guys so you guys can check it out for yourselves. Lastly, I just have some apple themed books to share with you guys. This first one here is 10 Apples Up on Top and this is a Dr. Seuss book and this is such a fun rhythmic read and it's also great for counting with toddlers and preschoolers. My children get such a kick out of the fact that they have apples on top of their heads and they like to pretend that they have apples up on top of their heads too. There's also tons of activities out there on Pinterest that go along with this book. So be sure to check that out, you guys. Highly recommend. Okay, our next book is How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World. And this is another one of our favorite books. And this is such a wonderful read for going over the different ingredients that you need to make an apple pie, as well as an introduction to geography, as this book touches on where in the world you might find the ingredients of an apple pie, such as cinnamon and apples and so much more. And the illustrations are just gorgeous in this book. I really can't recommend this book enough, you guys. Next, we have The Seasons of Arnold's Apple Tree by Gail Gibbons. 
And if you guys aren't familiar with Gail Gibbons, she's just a really great nonfiction author and her books are perfect for homeschooling. So we have Arnold here and he has a special apple tree that he takes care of all throughout the year. This book is wonderful for going over the different seasons and describing what an apple tree is like during each one of those seasons. This book even includes a recipe for apple pie and also covers how a cider press works. Next, we have another book by Gail Gibbons and this one is just titled Apples. And this is another really great pick as it's super informative. It touches on some apple history. It goes over the different parts of an apple, so your apple anatomy. It also covers the life cycle of an apple, as well as the life cycle of an apple tree. It covers various ways that people like to use apples. And then of course, it also covers the different types of apples as well. The last book I have to share with you guys is called Apples and Pumpkins. And this is the perfect book to read before going to an apple orchard and pumpkin patch. And it's also super simple and has large font. So if you guys have an early reader in your house, this would be a great pick to go with an apple theme or even a pumpkin theme. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of our apple themed activities today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.